Hey guys, Tater Tot is asleep right now. Um, we just went to the P.O. Box and I've been waiting for this and I was so excited. And you know when I get something cute for him, I have to show you guys. Um, so this is from a company called uh, Hi Little One. Um, and so I'm from the South. And I'm a bad southerner because I have not got him anything custom made yet. Um, and so I decided it was time. <laughs> Usually we get stuff with their like initials or monograms or, you know, stuff like that. So this website has the cutest stuff. I'm going to open this now. And the person in the car next to me like, what is this crazy lady doing? I opened it a minute ago. I was so excited. I was like, I got to share this. First off, it comes in this cute little bag which is so stinking cute. I'm a sucker for good packaging. <laughs> okay. Are you guys ready for this? I'm so excited for this. I went back and forth between you can use their first name, their first and last name. You can do like their initials on this website. There's so many different designs. It took me forever to decide what I wanted to do <laughs> and so I decided he has nothing that says tater tot either. So with this design and tater tot y'all are gonna die. Are you ready? Do, 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 tater tot for president how stinking cute is that and i am so 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 impressed i can't say enough with um the quality of how these print like or the way they do this like i don't even know it looks so freaking good like how cute is that i'm so excited about that another thing i liked about this company um, is that they donate 10% to pediatric cancer of like all their proceeds. So it's kind of like a way of giving back and getting your kid adorable stuff. Um, what is another thing I was telling you? I think it's pediatric cancer awareness month too. So I don't know. I had to share that with you guys. Cause like how cute is that? Um, I did go with the size six to 12 months. Cause on the website it says it, it's like when you wash it, it goes down one size, but I figured like a little bit bigger is better. That way he's able to wear it during election time and stuff. I mean, I guess it's election time now too, but like, you know, I thought it'd be cute too when I go vote, have him wear it. I don't know. I'm just so excited about it. Like I wanted so bad to get him something that says tater tot, but, um, yeah. So anyways, like I said, you can do like their nicknames their Like you can come up with like a ton of different designs or whatever you want to put on them. And it's not just onesies. I saw like bibs, bags, hats I don't know I'm probably gonna become addicted to this site but I had to share with you guys because you know when I find something cute I have to share with you and I'm gonna include the links in the description box below for those of you that hi do you see your new shirt look at that how cool is that he's excited about it tater tot for president yeah um I'll include the link in the description box below for you guys um Right now we're at Halloween Madness Superstore. Um, Jackson, we think we know what he's going to be for Halloween, but I want Justin to see the costume, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. And oh my god, I'm so sorry about this going on behind me, but I started a project <laughs> with my dad. I was like, I really would like all our family pictures and all my mom's pictures from like that you have from her like younger and growing up and stuff, because I want to scan them all and I want to make. Jackson a book that says um, <clears throat> that's like all about my grandma so I needed a bunch of pictures for that so my whole back area of my car is filled with picture albums and pictures so I took everything from my dad's house anyways we're gonna go in the Halloween Superstore now I'm super excited Jackson in the Ergo this is the easiest carrier for running errands when you're going multiple places he still likes the Moby better but this is like the easiest popping him in and out for several places. What do you think? I hope nothing scares him in here. I'm gonna feel so bad if something scares him. I don't want him to see anything scary. Oh my God, Maleficent. That's my favorite villain. Like that is bad ass. Look at that. I kind of want to be Maleficent. But then what would you be? I don't know. Well, that was a highly disappointing experience for, for such like a huge like warehouse of a costume store. They had like the shittiest 
baby section I've ever seen. Like, they, there just was no... Like, did you see any, like, real baby costumes? I mean, they had cute kids' costumes. But, like, baby... Even some of the toddler stuff just was not, like, that impressive at all. I don't know. So... I guess we'll look at Target again, but I'll just say what we wanted to do. So first we wanted to be, um, Justin was going to be Luigi, Jackson was going to be Mario, I was going to be Princess Peach, and the dogs were going to be those bomb chomp things. Um, that was going to be one of our costumes, but we could not find a baby Mario costume. Like, we did his newborn pictures in, like, a knitted costume, but, like, an actual costume that would fit him now because a knitted one doesn't anymore. We could not find it. Um, I looked online. I looked everywhere. So we scratched that. We thought about doing the Wizard of Oz and, like, including the dogs and stuff, but I would rather do that when he's a little older because um, I couldn't really find any costumes I loved for him to be, like, the scarecrow or... Cause Ralph would be the cowardly lion. I was just going to put a mane on him. Um, <clears throat> Amber was going to be Dorothy. I would have been like um, the Wicked Witch. and So, yeah. So, we scratch that till they're older. <laughs> um, and then I really like... There were several things we wanted to do. But it's just like so hard to find... Like all the costumes start at 12 months plus. And he's just not going to fit into anything that big. So, um, we decided that... We were going to keep it simple this year and find him a costume of like a cute, like babyish costume of a pup, like a puppy costume. And then Justin and I are just going to wear ears and like paint our nose. And I might like buy brown shirts and put like white patches on them, like so white patches on them, like little puppy bellies. <laughs> um, and so we're going to keep it simple like that and kind of do like a family. And then the dogs will already be dressed up as dogs. <laughs> so um, that's what we're going to do. And I, I, it's weird because it's like people are like, do you take your baby trick-or-treating? Or do people think that's rude because it's like, okay, these people are just trick-or-treating for candy for themselves. Like I get excited when babies come to my door. I love it. I think it's adorable. And, and really like we're probably going to take him to my dad's house trick-or-treating to my dad's and to like neighbors on my street that I grew up with just for like pictures and stuff we're not gonna like dredge them out like okay we're going trick-or-treating like hardcore um it's more just for pictures and memories and stuff so um <clears throat> so yeah that's our Halloween plan we didn't get hardly any trick-or-treat how many trick-or-treaters we get last year like three I think it's because we live in a gated community and so people can't just come in to go trick-or-treating. I've always thought it would be kind of nice if our neighborhood opened the gates on Halloween because, you know, there's a lot of apartments around us and a lot of like when we lived in an apartment, people didn't do trick-or-treating. And so it would be nice for those kids in an apartment to be able to come trick-or-treating in our neighborhood, I think. Um, but I love Halloween and I make little gift bags. If y'all saw last year, I make all the kids gift bags instead of just candy. It's got like candy and little teeth in it and pencils and stuff like that. So I just think that would be nice. Um, but since we didn't get that many, we're not even going to be home. We're just going to go to my dad's, um, <clears throat> for a little bit. And then if we get some, when we get home, then I'll, you know, hand stuff out. But yeah, that's, we're going to go to a spirit Halloween now where I know I saw a puppy costume. I just don't know how it's going to fit him. Penguin. Do you want to be a penguin? You look very serious right now. They have much better stuff here. This is what Liam's going to be. Mickey Mouse. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness though. Oh, Justin, that's so cute, though. We could all be pirates again. I saw my pirate costume, do you? I put scarves on the dogs. <laughs> all right, let's see how this one fits. This is the costume. Puppy love. They have so much better baby stuff here, guys. Spirit Halloween. Look at Justin's nose. Oh, I wish you could see Jackson. I wish you could see it. So we got his puppy costume. So cute. And mommy and daddy got puppy noses. Let me see it. Let me see if he reacts. Oh, well, I mean, he can't see you, babe. Hi. 
It's hard to breathe in. Breathe through your mouth. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah. Guess what section I'm in again. <gasps> oh, clearance. Yep. Should not be over here. Look what, look at, look at, let me see. Let me see the backpack that we found. We already bought Jackson his first backpack. It was on clearance. I'm out of control. He's so stepped up. This was gonna be Jackson's uh, first car wash experience, then he fell asleep. Oh my God, I need to clear his nose out. He's snoring because of congestion. Or turn the air off for a second so I can hear. Sleeping through his first car wash, just sleeping right through it. So I might actually be returning this. Um, look at this on his head, like, I don't know. I don't think I like that. Like, how's he gonna see anything? But it's cute. I don't know. Daddy, come look at this. Say, Daddy, come look at me. Supposed to go back on their head like that. It, I thought it was gonna be like choke. <laughs> it's a big head. You gotta move it back more. Like I can't do this one-handed, baby. Yeah, it just seems like you've got to move it back out. to like that way. Yeah, and then move his cheeks out. <laughs> there you go. I feel like that's like choking him, though. I know, but it's like super scrunchy. Yeah. I don't know. Screw this thing. It's just. Oh, Jackson. I don't know if we should take this back or not. I feel like yeah. if he's going to wear that, it's going to be... Just, like, for pictures. Yeah. Just for pictures in a few houses. Yeah. I think your head is actually too small for it is a problem. Yeah. I don't know. But it's so cute, I think we should keep it. I don't know. I don't know! So I was thinking about it, and I think I can... Y'all like my nose? I think I can add um, some material here, like, just with Velcro to make it not so tight when we push it back, if that makes sense. I don't know, do you want to keep it? Like, do you think it... I mean, the the suit part's really cute. I just feel like the hat's a little too... <laughs> um... <laughs> You're having entirely too much fun with that. <laughs> I am. So... It's really hard. I think if I add it... It's <laughs> really hard to have a serious conversation with you like this. I think if we... This kind of hurts right here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We might have to trim it or pat it a little bit. Say, look what daddy got me. So we mostly got this for the kit part that, because uh, wasn't the kit like $20 online to attach to a helium tank? Yep. So we bought this and then later on we'll buy a bigger helium tank because he loves balloons and for parties and stuff like that. And like my mom's balloon release, they charged me $4 at Party City to blow up that balloon. So this was like 20 bucks and uh, helium tanks that are refillable are super cheap. So we're just gonna go that route. Um, and then this is the backpack I got him. Look how freaking cute. And we're like, even if he doesn't like it when it's time for him to use the backpack, I will use it or Justin will. Look how freaking cute. And it was on clearance for eight, eight ninety eight from like 30 something dollars. I thought that was a good deal. I don't know, I'm obsessed. Then we got him one of these for trick-or-treating, just the classic 99 cent pumpkin. Um, even though we're only going to like five people's houses, I still thought he had to have something cute. Cause it'll be cute next year and stuff. I just love these like classic buckets. I just think they're adorable. I got Liam this shirt. It's a 5T, it's the only one I could find, but it was so cute and he loves Mickey Mouse. Plus, Crystal joked, he's so big, he'll probably fit in it too. <laughs> but it's got a little hoodie on it. I don't know if y'all can see. Adorable. So, yeah, I couldn't help that. I get that for my Lily. That's what Crystal and her family calls him, Lily. I think it's so cute. So, we had to get that for him. And Justin's, are you nervous if this works or not? I want to see if it actually works the way I think it's So, we could take it back if it doesn't. I look like I went over shopping. I did not buy that. Somebody gave that to us. My stepmom gave that to us. I didn't go buy that. It looks like we just went and like spent a shit ton of money. <laughs> I just realized all the shit sitting out. Yeah. Looks like we're super wasteful. 
Ralphie. Yeah. He was yeah. like, I don't get high. <laughs> it it does work. Look, Jackson. Yay, Elmo. Sweet, I'm not crazy. Oh. Who's that? Your balloons are back up and working. So Justin, whoa, I almost like threw up for a minute. That was weird. Lovely. So Justin has Jackson. This is just going to be like a haul kind of video day. Um, this, these clothes were from my dad and stepmom, but they were so cute. I had to show you guys. So they got him this. It says one cutie little cub and it's got a hoodie. It's got little pants and a onesie. They got him that in six months, which will be good for the winter. Then this is in nine months. He'll probably be fitting this in February when it's coldest or maybe even earlier if he grows fast. This is my favorite thing aside from the space stuff they got him. It says Mommy's Little Explorer and I love the like Aztec print. Can y'all see the Aztec print stuff? And then it has little jeans. And then they got him all of these cute onesies. Space! So he's got this pattern and a lot of stuff, but he doesn't have a onesie in this size anymore. So I was excited because we wear those, he wears those shoes Patricia sent him all the time. And I, this is my favorite pattern because it matches him so good. So it has a onesie for that. And then I'm out of this world. And then I think, oh yeah, this has, this is good for those shoes too. Has aliens and spaceships on it. And then let's see. Just having a blast. And then this one is just a classic kind of um, simple onesie. And I don't remember the size on this. Six months. Yeah. Because I remember my dad called me the other day and he's like, when does Jackson's closet start getting sparse? And I was like, six months plus. Because <laughs> he has three to six months, but six months plus it gets sparse. This is so cute. Look at the monkey on the scooter, y'all. He's on a scooter, and then bam, monkey butt right there. Adorable. Then he has these, but this is in a different size than what he has. So super excited because y'all know I go buy space doubles all the time. And actually, I yeah, it's got alien feet, but I feel like the one he has doesn't have a pocket. I feel like this is actually slightly different. The monkey one has feet too. Does, does it? It has monkey feet. I'm sorry. I missed that. Um, I feel like this is actually slightly different than the one we got him. Yeah. I feel like there are spacecrafts on the one we got him. This has rockets. So that's freaking awesome. Love that. Then let's see. Is this the last thing? Oh. Um. Oh, yeah. Mighty cute junior oh no, all-star junior division all-star football. It's got a nice little vest to keep him warm. This is in nine months. Um, pants and a little onesie. So that was super nice of my dad to go and buy him all that stuff. Like finally his closet starting to fill out on the other side um, between like what we got him at the outlets and that, and that's just his formula. But I, we got this at Bye Bye Baby because he's, I have an order. Honest Company has Halloween diapers and I ordered them online and they were actually super, like I really love them because they always answer me on time whenever I send them a message and they were super nice. I asked them if um, the the Halloween, when I went to order it, it only had like, I think size one, three, and it didn't have newborns or two. There were certain sizes missing and twos was one of them. And he's not outgrowing twos anytime soon. So I messaged them and I was like, hey, um, are y'all gonna restock this or is it just gone? And they're like, we actually have some left, but they're for our bundle customers. But um, we can go ahead and sh give me your email and I'll charge your, you know, your account, your honest account, and we'll send you the size too. So they sent them to me, even though they were just for bundles customers. I thought it was like super nice of them. We want to do bundles, but we cloth diaper so much. They told me that I could push them out to like six to eight weeks. So we've been talking about just starting to bundle. But for now, um, they have this new print that's like political print. And he actually has a shirt that Crystal just got him that says Jack's, uh, not Jackson, it says me for president or something like that. What does it say? Your future president, Your future president or something. It's so cute. And so I thought it'd be super cute to take a picture with that and this. And Liam has a matching shirt too, so we have to get pictures of the boys in it one day. But also, I realized I was like, 
oh, I want to take a picture of him in his tater tot 2016. I might fold up the uh, onesie just to take a picture with the diapers too. The only thing that Justin and I pointed out on this is like it's only a two-party system on the thing. And we're libertarians, so it's a little like... When we see them only doing the two-party system, but Justin yeah. would like me to point out, which is a good point. Um, libertarian is the party we most closely identify with. <laughs> this is like <laughs> I think he feels that that's important to say because you might see some of their stuff and think it's a little crazy. There's a few things we don't necessarily agree with, but I don't think you're ever going to find a party that you completely agree with every single stance on. But for the most part, that's the party that we feel the most kindred spirits with. Um, but that's just a little side note I had to insert because Justin was like, when I stopped filming, he's like, maybe you should say this. So there's some things that people aren't like, what the fuck? <laughs> but, you know, what I liked about it was that the message, if you see they're holding hands, was just like love, not not like sides choose love. So I was like, that's really cool. I like that. Instead of like everyone hating each other and arguing all the time, it's a cool message. So I went ahead and Super cute. So anyways, I'm going to end the vlog because I feel like there was a lot of stuff going on in the vlog today. And um, I just was so excited when I got that package. It just started off like my good mood today. So <laughs> anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.